there's a growing chance tonight someone you know or either yourself have been hit with the flu. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lindsay Ward and I'm Brittany McGraw. John Carlin is on assignment. According to the CDC, this flu season is on track to become the worst in 15 years. Scientists say more than 36 children have died because of the flu and now the deadly epidemic is hitting home with the first death in our area. This seven year old boy from Pennsylvania County died over the weekend from complications related to the virus. We have live team coverage across Southside with what local schools are doing to prevent the deadly flu problem and keep your children safe. But first, we're hearing from the little boy's family. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat joins us now live in Danville. So Coulter, you spoke with his father about this devastating loss. That's right, Lindsay. Kevin Baines Sr. says he just doesn't understand how this could happen. His son was sent home from school Friday because he was vomiting and falling asleep. He died about 48 hours later. Kevin's father says when he, uh, after his son was sent home from school on Friday, he was given some Tylenol, but by Saturday morning he couldn't walk. He was taken to the emergency room at Central Hospital in Gretna, but was sent home with some medicine. Kevin's father says his son was diagnosed with strep throat and the flu, but says doctors determined that his conditions didn't warrant him being admitted to the hospital. Kevin came home and his parents did the best they could with the medicine to try to combat his symptoms. But Sunday morning, one of Kevin's sisters found him unresponsive in his bed. Now that this has happened, I'm hearing more and more stories of children that have already died or gotten worse or whatever, and it's just, that's just crazy. Coming up tonight on 10 News at 6, hear what one local doctor is saying about the flu and hear what else is being done to help the family. Coming up, uh, that's coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. Live in Danville, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. Now, since learning of Kevin's death, Pennsylvania County schools are taking measures to ensure all kids are safe in class. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell continues our team coverage on the deadly flu outbreak. She joins us now live at the school board office in Chatham. So, Jessica, how are school leaders reacting to this? Lindsay, they're taking lots of extra steps to try to make sure everyone knows Mount Airy Elementary School is safe. And they're also reminding parents to do what they can to help. They sent out this letter today urging parents to keep your kids home from school if they're sick so they can try to prevent a tragedy like this from happening to anyone else. Students and staff at Mount Airy Elementary School are mourning the loss of one of their own. We spoke to the principal who was too emotional to talk on camera, but tells us everyone is devastated by this loss. A sentiment echoed by Pennsylvania County School Superintendent Mark Jones. Anytime you lose a student, um, you just really, I mean, you it's like losing a part of your family. Now the school system is trying to do its part to keep something like this from happening again. We have a, a equipment that we put in each classroom um, that we have to be sure staff and students are not there, but will disinfect the room. Jones says maintenance crews came in Sunday night and cleaned the school and all buses into this morning, not just at Mount Airy, but also at Hurt and Gretna Elementary Schools. And we clean touch surfaces, tables, desktops, we clean water fountains as well, uh, and we use those, those uh, products to clean our bus seats. Despite these steps, Kevin's untimely death has many parents concerned, so we asked Sova Health's Dr. Neelay Patel if the schools are doing enough. They're good about having the kids wash their hands and everything, which is very important, washing hands. Uh, the problem, of course, is though, kids start out with those mild symptoms like the runny nose and the mild cough, and usually they already expose some children, if not, you know, the surrounding classroom, classmates, to the flu already. So, um, yes, they should be concerned because it will spread very quickly, unfortunately. A warning for parents and a message Jones says they're now stressing more than ever before. The superintendent says crews hit that deep clean at three schools today, and they're going to go to Gretna Middle and High Schools to do it again tomorrow. Live in Pennsylvania County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.